Are you truly aware of yourself? I had a friend ask me about my observation of the Adam and Eve story. And I really believe that that story is about awareness. Awareness of self. Like really encompassing who you are, what you love, what makes you tick, what environments you thrive in, what people you love being around, uh, what you notice about your body, what you're eating. That's awareness. And in order to have full awareness of self, you have to have grace for yourself, love for yourself, understand your confidence, understand the areas where you can do, you can put some more time, some more effort, some more work. And you notice everything that you've done, jealousy, deceit, maybe misloyal moments, how you had to tell things that wasn't true. Or you start noticing about you. And when you notice about you, you're able to notice about everyone else, their energy, their intention, whether you should spend energy, because at the end of the day, some people come and they take from you energetically and they're not even aware. So you gotta make sure that your cup is full if you decide to entertain when someone comes, bringing their issues, their problems, their questions, their interests, whatever it may be. But Adam and Eve, when you're fully aware of yourself and you're taking care of yourself, the snake, the serpent, I spoke on a previous video about semen retention and how your lower chakras from your root all the way up to your crown. And there's blockages based off of trauma, childhood experiences, how you probably haven't forgave certain people, how you still holding on to things. Like your, your organs store energy based off of how you're going about your day. So if you're joyful, peaceful, blissful, forgiving, graceful, like you're light, you're a light body. You're taking care of yourself energetically you're a light body so the serpent calls up to the top to the third eye, third eye pineal gland the eye of horus we hear these even in the egyptian cultures you see them with the crown with the serpent snake on the top that's when you're aware a snake is fully aware of this environment they can hear us coming stepping on the ground vibrationally before we're even there and you can't control the snake you uh you can learn to train it from a pet, but you put your finger in the cage just to get a rat, and you still might get bit by a snake. So there's one of those animals that people fear, and they taught us to fear through movies and media because that's one of those ones they couldn't domesticate. So when you blossom your chakras, spend time with yourself, self-care, meditation, know that it's it's deep, it's about our cells, it's about our DNA. When you start to activate certain dormant DNA in your body, you're aware of more and more things. You see things way before they come. Telepathy, clairvoyance, you're knowing things that you don't even know why you know. You might even be able to learn different languages if you subconsciously start programming yourself overnight. But are you fully aware of yourself? And if the answer is maybe or no, spend that time. Just as much time as we spend on the video games or spending time at the club or the bar on these these energies that are fun to us but they, it's like what what am i really getting from this experience or this choice that i decide to embark upon you have to know you and when you know you you won't take nothing from anyone else that's less than what you value of yourself Mm. What up, here, Doc? Uh, the um, I finally caught you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you um, you mind if I get this all cleaned up? This uh, oh, I'm, no. his, I'm, I'm his sorry. friend. He's in the house. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you good? 